To estimate the fat content of milk, I've got full fat milk and I'm going to prepare 7 ml out of this. So it's a good idea to use a beaker, but as this won't be drunk, there's no risk of contamination. I'm going to take 7 ml, and because this is a 10 ml pipette, I've just got to take it up to where the 3 is. So that's it there. And I'm going to put it into my separating funnel. So there's a bit of milk left in there, but I've got the solvent that we're going to use, which is a mixture of hexane and isopropanol, and I've poured it into a beaker, so it doesn't matter if a bit of milk, I want to try and get what's in here out. So I'm going to put it in, and as before, I want 7 millilitres of this. I'll just put that in my separatory funnel. So at the moment the milk is, or all the fat is dissolved in the milk, but we want to work out how much fat there is. And the fat is actually more soluble in our isopropanol and hexane. So once I come to mix it, the fat will move into this layer. So I just put on my stopper and you can see there's two separate layers. But I'm now going to give it a mix, so just gently. If we go too vigorously, then you can cause it to separate. And it builds up pressure, so I'm going to turn away and vent it every so often. So that should be enough. I'm now going to let it settle and we should see two layers form. So it's now separated into two layers. We have our milk layer and our isopropanol with the fat. So what I'm going to do now, um, I have the first layer is just milk. So I, that's essentially my waste. It's not the fat that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to run that into a beaker. Take off the lid firstly, otherwise it Okay. Just when you see it coming close to the two layers, just go really slow. There we go. Just do it drop by drop. There we go. I'm happy I've got rid of the, that layer. So the next one is the one I want to keep. So this is our solvent and it should also have our fat. So I've weighed a beaker and now see it you need me to put my mm -hmm. hand behind. No, no. Okay, and now I'm going to run the second layer all the way out. So that's the first extraction, but we want to, so that will have got some of the fat from milk, but we want to make sure we've got all of it. So I'm just going to put the milk layer back in. So that was our bottom layer, as much as I can. And then measure out another seven milliliters of our solvent and do a second extraction. I'll just put that in and I'm just going to repeat what I did before with the shaking and that So again, I'll let the layers separate and then I'm going to discard the first layer and take the second layer in. Once I've got the second layer, I'm then going to put this on to evaporate the solvent and we'll be left with the residue fat at the bottom.